Happy Mars Day Collective. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're returning. It's the Pisces High Priestess. You guys can call me Siren and we're going to get into the Timeless Channel Planetary Message for Mars Day and its connection to the root chakra. So, who are you now? I feel like there's been a lot of analyzing, a lot of um, um, growth and development. But as far as the past, it's been a lot of analyzing pulling apart pieces of you to to like kind of figure out who you were, who you used to be um, in the past or certain. Um, yeah, you've been working on yourself a lot with the Eight of Pentacles for some of this. A lot of this too could be like physical or because you're working on yourself internally so much, it's... Um, it's starting to reflect outside of the physical world, right? As above, so below. As within, so without, right? So mentally, if you want to be a better person, you're starting to have the idea of that. And it's starting to reflect out. So it starts with like, okay, I want to be more organized. Just the thought. And because that thought is there, you do certain things to actually match that energy. So you know how to match energy? Yeah, you're a good magician. You'll have a thought. Like, you know how to act on something. And these are the good emotions to act on. So maybe um, in the past, you felt like you were somebody who acted on emotion in a negative light. Uh, anger, quick to anger, quick to sadness or whatever. And it's not that you acting on impulse or emotion that that was bad, but you had to redirect your energy. And I feel like you're doing that. But who you were in the past... This could be programming from just how you were brought up. Different friends that you had. Um, <laughs> different friends that you had. Uh, parents, whatever. But these these programmings. And you understand who you were. Who you were. And I feel like a lot of that has fallen off. You've done a lot of work to have that fall off. So who are you now? That's the question for today. Who are you now? Who are you becoming You've done a really good job on unworking on yourself and helping yourself out. Because for a lot of y'all, you don't get a lot of help. You don't get a lot of assistance. It's really young you. You have to... um Whatever the Ten of Pentacles, what that might be for you, that prosperity and the life that you built, we see with the Eight of Pentacles that you were actively involved in creating that manifestation for yourself. Nobody can deny that. Nobody can say that you were fed a silver spoon, that somebody gave you something. It's because of you. And I feel like today, you, you can honestly, it, this is the root chakra. You could feel a little low. You could feel like, damn, like just the weight of the, I would say the weight of the world. Some of y'all could feel like that. But um, maybe like a lot of responsibility is on you. And it's just like, ugh. Let's get another card. Like, why? Because you should be the nine of pentacles. I feel like you should be. Maybe even this is like going paycheck to paycheck. And. But why though? Because when I'm getting with these two cards. It's like. You should be the nine of pentacles. This is someone who's very abundant. They have more than enough. They should have left over. Right. If you get a paycheck. You should have some left over to. Uh, get your hair done. Nails done. Do something for yourself. Make sure you got enough groceries in the house. Etc. But. Um. It's like you cannot bask in your own abundance. Maybe you have more people to take care of or families to support or to support your family. But it's like the extra that you should have to yourself, you have to keep giving it in a, away. So there is a little bit of this burden felt there and, and a little bit of like... Um, you feel like you lack clarity about how to get rid of this burden. Like eliminate it completely and so that it doesn't cycle back around either and i feel like i'm just waiting for the hangman to come out some of this could have to do with uh sacrifice sacrifices that you'll have to make because if i'm reading this energy right the person um the energy that i'm picking up on i feel like i am y'all yeah, like i know what i'm talking about but the energy that i'm picking up on 
maybe it's multiple people, but it's like, you can't really help helpless people. You cannot help helpless people who are helpless people, helpless people that are people that um, don't do for themselves, don't do for themselves or don't do better for themselves, even if they have the access to the resources to, to do better for themselves. They don't, or these are uh, lazy people. This is like um, someone who needs, I don't know, they need, they need like $10,000 and all they have to do, all they're being asked of to go from the eight, eight of pentacles to the nine of pentacles is to like um, fill out a form that ask you a couple questions, your first last name your phone number, your email, you know, some tedious questions. Maybe it'll take like three minutes, but it'll get you $10,000. A lazy person or helpless people, they won't even do that. They're like, oh, that's too much. They won't even do that. Yeah, the eight of, um, the eight of cups. Maybe uh, these are people that assume that things should be just so easy. Um, Why well, I feel like, how are you feeling, collective? You feel like you want to cry or something. It's like, when will it end? When, when will it be over? Will it ever be over? That's how you're feeling. But yeah, helpless people, because it's not wrong. It's nothing wrong with helping people. It's nothing wrong with helping people. But, like, helpless people are, like, the ones that you, that you, you give them help or you give them something to, to get up on their feet. And then, okay, it's like you help them to get up on their feet and then so you could be done. Okay, here's this. You're on your feet. Be independent. It's like they'll still come back to you. They'll still... It's not about. It's it's more so about riding your cor your coattail. It's more so about riding your coattail. It doesn't matter how much you give them, how much you, because I feel like you're trying to give them, like, I feel like you're trying to pay somebody to go away or something. Or like, oh my god, I just cannot wait to get this lump sum or get this so like you can have this and then you can finally leave me alone. And it's like a foreshadowing for some of y'all. The spirit is saying that. Even when you, or yeah, Spirit is saying, be careful with doing that because even if you were to do that, they're still not going to go away. Like, it's not about that. It's just about, yeah, the three of wands, seeing into the future, foreshadowing. It's, uh, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Yeah, like, when is this cycle going to end? When is this the clarity? It's just like the cord needs to be cut. Somebody just wants to be there. They just want to be there. Or somebody is weird. I don't know. Or somebody wants to live in your shadow. Who want? Who wants to live in another person's shadow? It's one thing where, you know, somebody's, you know, just living in someone's shadow by accident. I guess the other person's very popular or whatever, right? But, like, who willingly wants to, like, voluntarily wants to live in another person's shadow? It's like... I feel like I feel like you're at a time where collective it's time for you to have a protector and provider. It don't gotta be no husband, it don't gotta be no boyfriend, whoever. Like it was a song I was listening to called Who Got Me? And it's like, yeah, who got me? Like I got me. Like who got you? You're like, who who has me? Like when I need somebody, who got me? I feel like somebody um, voluntarily wants to live in your shadow because you kind of bring a sense of protection. But it's time for you to be in that energy. I feel like, so maybe somebody does not want you to be protected, whatever that means to you, married, with a boyfriend, somebody that takes care of you, you going off to college or whatever. They don't want you to be protected because um, you're their protection or you're their security. You cannot, you're, you're not allowed or you cannot get a, some sense of security of your own because you're their security. Ooh, six of cups. And these people could be very, very nice, but they're still help, helpless. And I, maybe that's why you stick around. They're like, but they're so nice. Like they're not even, they're not mean. They're not being ill, but.
better to steal um, an unhealthy attachment. You may need to have somebody fend for themselves. And I think we talked about this a couple months ago. And I was like, um, I was like, I ain't gonna lie. Sink or swim, they may sink. But I feel like something is like inevitable. It is. I feel like you're the only thing keeping maybe someone or people from sinking. You're the only thing that's keeping them from sinking. So you feel like you need to stay or something, but, but no, cause even if you built them a boat, gave them a boat, like they still, <laughs> but there's, there's this energy coming through that's saying the spirit's like, yeah, is a door is going to open up for you so that you don't have to keep exhausting your resources. Like, cause when you get in this energy, you're exhausted. Like you are tired. Just that shit that have you contemplating life because you're like, so I'm just working to forget working. Oh, I'm just work, working to pay my bills. You're working to take care of myself. You're like, no, I'm not even working to do that to take care of me. I'm take, I'm working to take care of other people. So it's like, you or some, you feel like even when you busting your ass, you're not even busting your ass for yourself. It's not even for you. <sighs> yeah, that's that burden at Ten of Wands. Like, ugh. That's not your role, though. I was gonna say that too, like um, but one one thing you are thinking about, even though you're like, dang, even if you kind of feel like, okay, I have no help, or it's one of those moments where you're like, okay, let me get on my, cause you can only like have these low thoughts for a while, only so much, and that's how you know you're not a hopeless person. Um, your cause your survival mode kicks in. What is that about certain people that like? Even when all eyes are against them, like survival mode doesn't kick in for them. No fire gets lit under their ass. Like, okay, I got to get this together. They literally, so if they won't even do that for themselves, why are you doing that? I feel like something you need to step up. You got to stop being the, because we'll be, I can't even talk. <laughs> First of all, y'all know how I sounded like, y'all know them TikToks from that lady that's like, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> and then she'll be like, I'm so mad I can't even talk. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, no, because I really could not even talk. Uh, oh, what was I even saying? It was just too much. It's, it's too much. Yeah, but you're not helpless because, oh, that's what I was saying. You know, I always say, we was just saying, fire is the only element that needs to be created. It has to be sparked. It's not just here laying around somewhere. Fire has to, it's spirit. It has to, something has to come out. I feel like you got to stop being the fire for someone else or the spirit for someone else so that they can let their own flame come out. Like, they have to. Like, because I don't know what it is, but no survive. It's like, maybe it's just this is a person who, like, it's okay with just, like, what? I don't know, y'all. What? This is crazy. Am I, is that for real? <sighs> Trigger warning, I guess. Like, this is like somebody who's like okay with like death or something. And not in a way where it's like, um, It's it's one of two things. And, and nah, this is what it, this is what it is. It's like 
they're not they're not worried about like death or change when they should be they feel like oh nothing <laughs> this person's gonna keep doing this so i'm never gonna have to worry about like i'm not even worried about death i don't care if i die because i'm not gonna die so like yeah Nothing's ever going to change. They're going to keep carrying the burden. They're going to keep handling all 10 wands. And guess what? If I throw another wand on, on that bitch, I bet they'll take that too. I don't have to worry about the these three swords coming down on me. Nothing's going to happen to me. And it's like more so like that feeling. Like somebody's just like. Somebody has like a death wish, but in a different way. I tell you what, though, if they pull the other wand out on you, that's it. Because <laughs> even when you have your moments where you're down, it's like something just innate, your survival mode, you can't help it. Something innately in you is like, I got to keep going. Like, I'm going, like, you the type to, okay, even if you're tired, okay, I'm going to go down. I'm not going to go down without a fight. Somebody else, they'll, like, just go down without a fight or something. Like, they don't really. You know what I'm getting from this, too? Because everything's on a spectrum. Fighting kind of means, like, trying in a way. If you're fighting for a relationship or something, trying. You don't go down without a fight. It's kind of like somebody does not even try. Maybe you're trying to get someone to, to yeah, you're trying to get someone to help. Like, here, you're going to have $10,000, but I just need you to fill this out. They're like, oh, I can't. It's like that weaponized incompetence. Like, I'm like, I just, I don't know what to do. Can you help me? Can you do it for me? I can't even, I can't even lift the pen to sign. I don't, I don't know. And it's like, you... Man, I don't care if it's you trying to get 10000 get a new job, some. If you feel like you're not qualified, you're going to find a way to create a resume that makes it sound like this or whatever. You're going to try to do something. Like, you're going to try to do anything to get what you want. Maybe people feel like, too, that you're just, um, you're just blessed for no reason. And even if it's your man you manifesting. It takes work to manifest. That's also you trying, doing anything to get what you want. Adding a little extra razzle-dazzle, right? You have an interview, and then after you go home, light a candle because you really want this. You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever you got to do. I don't know. I feel like other people don't really try, but they see that you try really hard, and they want you to try on their behalf. No. That energy's for you. I don't, or something like, I don't like this. Or somebody's like trying to suck away your youth. It, it ain't going to happen though. Like, let it go. It's so tired. It is so tired. The Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, and the strength card. Because you, you're strong. Or it's like, um. And someone says, like, hey, can you figure this out? Or, hey, can you look for this? If you can't, it's like someone, if they can't find it the first time, they're just like, oh, okay, I can't find it. I don't know what to do anymore. And it's like you, you're going to keep looking. You're going to keep trying different ways. Let me try this way and then that way. And then this is like how you shine. You're like, let me try to move this way. Let me try to move that way. Just like, you know, how to get a ring or something to shine. Like, let me move like this. Let me do that. Let me let me figure out what it is I need to do to, um, to protect it. To, um, what am I going to say? To, um perfect a craft or let me figure out what it is that certain people are looking for maybe it is like trying to redo a resume or something like that you you made the bitch like 10 several times or maybe it's a song you wrote it or something so many times people thought you did it one time and that was it or something or maybe this isn't talked about enough like people be trying it's not just or videos or whatever Um, stop even trying to help somebody or asking 
for their situation to get better so you can get away from them. Don't even waste like your manifestation prayers. Ooh, just please help them get better so that, you know, then I'll be able to just nah, just just um manifest and pray for attachment. Or I'm sorry, detachment. Detachment. So you could worry about yourself. I don't because I don't know what this game is or what. Somebody's just gonna have to learn. Yeah, the, the, that's what the game is. The devil card. This this attachment. This no, 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 no. Like I am irritated right now. And you know something? I'm glad that I'm holding in my irritation because usually I get hyped. And I feel like that's how you know. You know how sometimes you just know something's gonna change, or you've had your wits in because you don't. You ain't even mad. You ain't even gonna blow up. You just like, oh, okay. This is what we doing, huh? Okay. Good job. Contain your own fire. You're not even letting that fire like, like leave you, like leave your mouth or be mad or whatever. It's like you are harnessing this power and this flame right now. And don't think that all, don't think that you're not reacting. It's not doing nothing. Trust me. Your spirit team, they're, they're collecting all that energy that's like building up in you. But yeah, this attachment. I like want to rip this card. Like that's how I feel right now. But yeah, usually I get hype and stuff. I just don't even. Maybe too somebody did not realize that. I don't know. Like that you were their only hope or something. You're the other king of wands. So why take advantage of that when you could lose your only ace? Somebody's going to lose their only ace. If it's a relationship, they're going to lose the only person that, that was there, that was down for them. The only person that cares. If it's um any type of attachment, if it's a, a job, they finna lose the only one that, you know, if they have to call somebody to come in, it was you. Hey, could you stay late? It was you. Whatever. If it's um a parent household thing, say they got hella kids, but all them kids be ready to leave them in a nursing home. You're the only one that be sticking around. They finna lose their only ace because they're taking advantage of it. Because uh, I'm getting because of fear. It is, yeah, it's Mars Day, the root chakra, fear, anxiety where we come from, stability, where we come from, stability and all that. It's like, there's so, why don't people do that to you? They're so scared of you losing you that instead of like maybe putting like four wands on you, they put everything on you because then you got too much, you won't leave. Whole time they don't know you'll drop all that shit and just walk away. <laughs> like overindulgence or over, that's not... Okay, shit, fuck yeah, that's cool. <laughs> All right. Two things apply. Yeah, two things apply. Because I was just getting dang. Um, even though I feel like you're about to do th to this to someone and it's very much validated, I'm not going to lie. I feel like somebody might um, might try to do this to you. And it's not really validated. But see, the difference between this happening to you is that you'll be fine. Like, it, if it's somebody breaking up with you or trying to be done with you, like, okay, like, boo-hoo, whatever. Like, you're going to be happy regardless. That just means that clearly this is not the person that you're meant to be with. So the faster that bullshit ends, the quicker, yeah, next in line, next in line. I don't care. It's Mars Day. It's about movement. It's about fast movement. Oh, you're moving too fast. You move on too fast. Next, next, next. Let's get this over with. Who has time to waste time? Nobody. Next, hurry up. And hurry up too. Because, uh, yeah, whatever quality that you have, don't let nobody play on it too much. Maybe you're very patient. Like you're not patient no more. 
because you're patient or it's like one of those things where you tell somebody, oh, take your time. You're going to wish you didn't say that. Take your time. Because since you said that, they're really going to take their time. And it's like, all right, bro, I said take your time, but I ain't say take 10 and, and more hours. Like, all right, now. So it's like, say, yeah, say someone's like, um, you tell somebody, take your time, whatever. And they're taking so long. So maybe in a while you're like, hey, like, what's going on? They're still taking long. Hey, what's going on? You wait another three hours. Hey, what's... Sorry, y'all, my video stopped. <laughs> so I had to create another clip. But like I was saying, um... Yeah, uh... Okay, like I was saying, yes. It's like, uh, say you, you're telling someone, like, take their time or whatever, and they're just taking long, 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 and you keep reaching out to them. It's been, and Mark, at hour two, you reach out, nothing. Hour three, you reach out, nothing. Hour four, five, and it keeps going and going, and then this person starts to feel like you're doing the ten of wands to them. Oh, my God, you're a bird, and you're na 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 and they want to drop you off. You're like, okay, well, I guess. Go ahead, then. If that's what you feel like you got to do. And I feel like that in itself is annoying. Or you could feel like that's magic. I ain't gonna lie. Because you could feel like... This is one of those times where you and the, the good people around you or your partner, y'all need to just be vigilant about anybody trying to come against your connection or your friendship or whatever, your soul team or your soul family like your earthly soul family come between friendships, relationships. Because it's like somebody, this is what they do. So try to notice the pattern. Try to notice situations where um, you were rightfully doing something to someone, but they felt like you were being malicious or they felt like it wasn't fair. So then it's like almost they orchestrate some situation out of the universe or something to happen to you. That's exactly like what you're doing to them. But the difference is you're doing it, you're, you're doing it, um, like it's, it's validated while you're doing it, but they feel like, you know, how dare you do that to me? That's not validated. Okay. Boom. Watch. I'm have so-and-so to do this to you. And then, and then when it happens to you, it's not even validated. It's just like, so it's like, you feel like you get, so maybe you feel like too, you have to keep trying to help somebody because every time you don't, it's like you get like reprimanded or something i feel like you if you haven't oh my gosh i'm irritated it's like if you haven't noticed that that's been happening now let me let me be the first to tell you that's what the fuck is happening and i say that because knowledge is power once you know what's happening what the game is it stops it's done that's what's happening like this is like um let, let me describe another situation it's like um whoever this devil card is say um Um, say whoever this devil card is uh they keep making silly mistakes almost like it's on purpose just to get you to work harder work harder and you you let it slide so many times but the one time you really needed them to do something right they didn't so you kind of finally yell at them like oh my god why can't you do this right or like huh or like you just kind of i don't know you just kind of like blow up at them a little bit like like I got you so many times to to try to get this right or whatever, right? Or whatever, cool. <sighs> then you go out to get breakfast that morning. You go through a drive-thru and the person at the window is being like, um, just completely rude for you for no no reason. They're like, you didn't ask for that. You should have, you should have stepped up. I asked you so many times over the intercom if you went and ran through that, you wouldn't say nothing. Nah, nah, nah. That's your fault. That's your fault. And you're like, why? I feel like. And it's like, you're such a good person that what, how it happens for you, you're such a good person that when these situations happen, you be like, dang, maybe that's how I made so-and-so feel this morning. This is a sign that I need to stop blowing up with them or that this is a sign. Cause yeah, I feel like what happened this morning, the situation that when, when somebody did that to me, I feel like that's exactly how I made that person feel. So I need to stop. 
And it's like, no, but you're validated though. It's just like, I guess magic so that you can stop getting on somebody's ass. Somebody wants you to stop getting on their ass. So maybe it's like to weaponize incompetence. They're acting like, oh, I don't know how to do it. So when they ask you to do things or when they ask for help, you're like, no, I'm not going to help you. Or I'm going to quickly walk you through it or not even help when they're like, hey, do this for me. You're like, no, we're going to sit here. I'm going to show you how to do it so that you don't have to ask me anymore. You can be independent and do it yourself because you're trying to make it a way to, to stop the connection. So somebody can stop asking you for something or help or advice, whatever the fuck it is. You want them to stop asking you. Stop seeking me for counsel. Um. Yeah, so it's like, um, say yeah, they're like they they come to you like, hey, um, can you do this for me? And you're like, no. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna just verbally walk you through you walk walk you through how to do it. And then you go to work, and then I don't know, you got to do brain surgery, and you've never done that. You're just like a medical assistant. <laughs> And the doctor, your boss is like, well, just figure it out. I'll just talk you through it. You're like, and it's like those situations. And then you sit there and think, dang, maybe I was too hard on so-and-so. No, that's different. You was walking them through how to just like order Domino's for pizza. They didn't want to do it themselves. They couldn't even do that. They wanted, can you order Domino's um, and have it delivered for me? No. It's not enough that you send them the money. Here's money to order pizza. They're like, okay, well, can you also order the pizza? You're like, no, why would I do that? I'm not your servant. They're like, oh, okay, bet I'm going to orchestrate something to where you feel just like that. But whole time it's like, okay, I actually need help with brain surgery. This isn't ordering the pizza. I actually need help. You don't fucking need help. I need help. I feel like something, and that's why I'm getting annoyed because I feel like you actually need help. You actually need assistance. And you feel like certain people that, maybe people that you've come across, people that you've dated, friends, that low-key... Um, were sent to you to be of some assistance to you and help. Not like um, they had to bow down to you. Just like you were here to meet certain people to help and be of assistance to them. Not hopeless people like this, but you're you're meant to help and be of assistance to them, right? I feel like it's a lot of people that should have helped you. It makes me wonder on a higher spiritual level, did they sign a contract with this this person to go against you? Did they already on a spiritual level, not consciously, but did they already like on a spiritual level, like know that they were going against you or did this person just kind of made them? Like they were going to help you. They really were. And then, yeah, this happened. I feel like it's this person, but I feel like these old people, though, you're not going to allow them to come back, though. Yeah, the Seven of Wands, you're not. Because I feel like you, so shoot, you just view them as not strong and you can do that. You can do that. You're like, dang, um, because who, whoever the devil is in your life, it's just, if it's a, a parent or whoever, I don't know. You're like, dang, all that person had to do was say that. And you won't go help me or all this or this one situation happened and suddenly you just you're kind of leaving me out in the cold. You're like, yeah, I mean, even if this person did do magic to, to make you do that, you think too highly of yourself. You're like, man, nobody's magic can directly influence me. That's why they have to keep using tools and people. And if you're somebody that could have got used, I need to be with you. No way, because you're a tool. You're literally a tool. Literally. Or a whore. Maybe everybody keep cheating on you. You're a slut. You're a whore. I don't care if you're a man or a woman. That's what you is. Like, you're like, yeah. So I can't even be mad. Be, be who you are. Because this person cannot directly touch me. They cannot make me do certain things. That's why they, they are able to manipulate people like you to do things um, to hurt me. Because they, they cannot just hurt me themselves. Like, yeah, no, nah, forget it. Because my real divine masculine would never be so easily manipulated by some, like, lower-level magic or lying. 
My Divine Feminine would never And it's not even the fact of like, um, maybe, maybe this person orchestrates a fight between you two or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that happens, but to, to completely abandon, give up on a situation because it's, uh, yeah, I guess you're like, I mean, I guess if that was, if it was that easy. Cause I guess everybody else is allowed to, um do certain things that you don't like and you'll stick around because you you understand like okay we're working on it but with you you gotta you have to be perfect i think or people just see you as the nine of pentacles you're perfect so be that you're like what is perfect i just i work on myself i'm the nine of pentacles because i'm the eight of pentacles first Maybe even how you dress, how you like look when you go out. You didn't just wake up with no curls in your hair and red lipstick. You you were the eight of pentacles. You literally did your lashes. You did your nails. You found a cute outfit. Then you put on some makeup. You did, you did that and you became the nine of pentacles. You didn't just, like, come on now. Or even your attitude. Maybe sometimes you're going to slip. But you have to. And we're always meant to evolve and work on ourselves. That means that we need to have moments. And, and so I'm irritated. Why am I irritated, y'all? Because it's like, hey, you may have moments where you, um. Yeah, you slip or whatever. But how are you supposed to better yourself if you cannot recognize character flaws in yourself? And you're going to recognize character flaws in yourself when you fuck up. So in other words, you have to fuck up sometimes. You have to. Nobody understands that. I'm also getting too, that's why this, this negative person, this toxic person don't want to be like out in the field or out in the real world to make mistakes because they'll have to like work on themselves. They'll have to fix character flaws. They'll have to notice things that are wrong with them and character flaws to change them, but that's too much of a trigger for them. So they hide behind you. This also could be somebody that blames you for everything. Like a lot of stuff, like they can't even help it. <laughs> are you a Libra? Y'all remember when there was that thing of, like blame Queen Nyjah. Like anything would happen, and they're like, blame Queen Aisha. And it was just like a joke, or funny or something. And it, again, it's like, they, even when they do that to you, you're always trying to work on yourself. Oh, it's your fault. You're yelling at me, it's your fault. I'm, I'm gonna show you that you're wrong, because I'm gonna orchestrate something to happen to you, just like you did to me. So then you'll feel like, oh, dang. Ugh something else to work on. I feel like you've been working on yourself, working on yourself. I feel like, I feel like you've been done, been done working on yourself. I feel like you've worked on yourself to where you were perfect and now someone's like making you work on yourself to almost where you're like reversing back. And that's where spirit's about to draw the line. Cause you're like, oh man, maybe I need to stop like doing maybe. They're like, no, you're right. No, you're correct. No, stop. Don't renege on what you did. We work too much to, to help develop this new mindset about you. Look at who you are now. Who are you now? Because whoever you are now, this person don't want you to be. They want you to be like you used to be and you don't. Even if it's just the, the fact of now you're ready to sacrifice. They don't want you to be like that. So keep your keep your mouth shut. Because some people, sometimes people, especially if you still around somebody and you're trying to leave them, keep your mouth shut. If you can, maybe this person's stalking you, watching you. They need to like be careful for they like seriously or start to encounter some some uh, troubled spirit. Someone that's trying to keep eyes on you to purposely suppress you. Yeah, you watch watch out. Freak accidents happen all the time.
But yeah, you could be at a, a moment where you're ready to sacrifice. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Like, try to limit information you give this person, even if it's not about them. Because they're always, it's like Gemini energy. They're always listening with two set of ears. You could be like, yeah, you know what? <laughs> you know, I'm starting to do better. I'm, I'm thinking about doing better for myself, trying to focus on me. It's my turn to live in life. And hope, maybe you talk about your friends, right? You talk about your friends. Your friends have been a little too demanding. Maybe you're in a new relationship or something. You're like, no, you know, it's time for me to give to, you know, my family, my home, um, my man, my girls. It's time for me to spend more time. And yeah, I'm still going off the girls, but I need to pull back. I need to make sacrifices. And um, right. Again, say you're talking about your friends or something. And the whole time you're talking to your mom. They're listening to what you're saying as you're saying it. But they're also thinking, dang. Damn, this bitch starting to make sacrifices. She she talk about her friends, yeah, but I'm next. If she making sacrifices with them, I'm not long behind. I, I'll be next. See, this is like, again, it's like one of those things. Um, we talked about this last year. Don't forget, and for anybody new, this is what people will do. People, some people like this, the devil card, they... They don't protect you. They they keep you in the line of fire so that it protects them. Um, this is how they listen with two set of ears. So some of y'all have already heard me say this, but to those of you that are new, like, but pay attention. It's like um, how I explained the last time. It's like you could have a friend that you feel like is stealing from you, and you maybe you go to like a parent or you go to another friend and you're like, dang, I think, I think Jessica's stealing from me because I noticed this, this, and this. So I noticed that like when I, when I went over her house, um, I don't know, I logged into her Amazon and it had my card on there and I just had a charge for my card on Amazon and I don't even know how that happened because I didn't order anything. And when I went to her house, I saw that she had my card attached. And then again, you're telling your other friend this, or you're telling your mom this. And your mom or your friend, they start and, and on the inside. They're freaking out. They're like, oh, my God. They they know that Jessica is stealing from you. But instead of them being like, hey, look, hey, look, friend or look, daughter, look, cuz or whatever. Yeah, they, they stealing from you. You right. It's like if they're doing the same thing to you, they got to cover for Jessica. They got to be like, no, I think you tripping. No, I think you no. She probably just left it on her by accident. Why would, why would they do that? Because whole time, they got your card on their DoorDash. And they got to protect themselves because if you happen to see their card on their DoorDash, then if you ever bring it up, they'll be like, no, nah, see, remember with Jessica, you thought the same thing. You thought she was stealing from you. She just had her card on Amazon. She she had it on there at one point and forgot. <laughs> Duh. Me, me too. I had it on my DoorDash and I forgot. Sorry. Some people, they listen to what you're saying. They they listen to what you're saying, but then they they listen on another end too. And again, not only will they not protect you from what's being done from you, they'll almost keep you in that situation so that you don't find out about them. They don't even care about protecting Jessica. They just low key need to. She's she's an accessory. They have to protect her so that they're not found out about found out about. It's crazy. Human nature, like, shit's crazy. And the four ones. So, yeah, when people, when you, and I feel like we notice, so, when you start to um notice somebody's defending something a little too much or defending something toxic a little too much, you can kind of already tell that either they're doing the same thing or it's a little close to home. If you start to be like, um, and I'm not, this is just an example. I'm not saying this. If you start to trust me, y'all should already know. I'm not, but anyways, if you start to be like, um, yeah, I feel like people to take back their, their person when they cheat are so stupid. If you take them back, you're stupid. Who does that? Who does that? If the person you're speaking to is like, well, no, I don't feel like it's that bad. No, uh, um, uh, they get real defensive. It's cause they, they nigga cheated on them and they took them back. And that's fine. But it's like, it's kind of like that obvious feeling of like, okay, I'm not even talking about you. So why are you defending this so much? 
Or am I talking about you? Does the shoe fit? Or are you talking to a man and you're like, oh my gosh, something just happened downtown. Some man just punched a girl, a, a girl randomly in the face. She just punched her ass in the face for no reason. I can't be, believe that happened. And the guy you're talking to was like, well, it had to be some she did. It had to, okay. So you go around punching, punching girls too, huh? Or you would. Because why are you... I'm getting on this person who punched the lady. I'm not even talking about you, but you you defending it like I'm talking about you. You getting real um it's it's looking like it's real personal. Like that touched home. And like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe the justice system what happens to uh, um people that are assaulted or oh my gosh, I cannot believe what happens to um with police brutality and right, you just getting on like um wrongful cops or or salters or whatever. And the person's like, no. They shouldn't be aggressive. Or they should show their ID when they get pulled. They should. Uh, uh, I bet you their dad's a cop. Like. <laughs> like. Because why are you. Why are you so gung-ho about. Oh my God. Nobody's even talking about you. But here you are sitting here. And I feel like you tired of energy getting mixed up. Because on one hand. When people do that. A lot of times they be true in a negative light where they're like, when they're defending something, it's like nine times out of 10, it's because it's close to home. But then it's like with you, when you defend things that have nothing to do with you, you have no attachments. You just care. People assume you do. You only care because da, 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 da. You're like, no, I don't know. Or you, you care about, say you care about the LGBT movement. You go march every every year for, for whatever month they have or whatever. And so it's like, oh, why you care so much? You must be gay. You must, you're like, no, I, nope, I'm really not. I don't just do things because it, it has a, a personal touch to me. Y'all do that. Y'all only do things and participate things that, that has something to do with you. Sometimes shit don't got nothing to do with me. And I'm still going to help. Or maybe you help with different movements. And they're like, oh, you must have black friends. It's like, I've never seen a black person in my life. I just know that that's wrong. I don't need it to be something personal to me. It's like the energy keep getting mixed up. Yeah, that could be um some type of energy in your life causing confusion. But it's all right, because... I feel like this is about to be a thing of the past. Also, feel like too, if you need to, all these pinnacles you're putting out, when you get paid, oh, dang, now I got to pay rent, I pay my bills, but then I got to get $50 here. I got to give them that, got to give them this. You're going to make sure you take at least one pinnacle to save for yourself to get out of your situation. I don't care if you got to just put aside $50 every paycheck. Something. You're like, I'm going to leave myself with something. Something. Yeah, because you refuse to just keep being on this sacrifice or whatever. So, I actually want to, before I end the reading, because it's going to take so long to upload. Ugh. Um, I should have filmed in the morning. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry, y'all. I should have filmed in the morning. I ain't got time. Um, I want to see what's actually going to happen to this person. Because, yeah, this is like irritating like I actually want them to go away like for real because why are you always left to like fend for yourself <laughs> for real I'm, I'm laughing but like we was just talking about that with uh, Ari and I already told y'all I'm like I already know like what her issue is it's not to make fun of nobody I just I can see it I can see people's um their Chiron that wounded warrior. Why are you always left to fend for yourself? Just because you can fend for yourself don't mean that you should. What's going to happen to this person? 
how are you going to be freed from this energy so that you can really excel in your life like how how are you going to be freed from this energy queen of cups so your team is doing a lot to a lot to block you from any more magic that's coming your way yeah because you see it it's like you know how they be like i got eyes in the back of my head like that's what i see here now you see something you realize something or if you're divine masculine maybe you feel like you're divine feminine it's the eyes in the back of your head she'd be like oh that person fake or ooh or it's like <laughs> ah boom boom okay so maybe somebody when you're talking to them they're listening with two set of ears i feel like you are too or you you have a conversation with somebody around your girl or around your friend and when the when the person walks away y'all finish the conversation your friend or your girl be like hey did you did you catch that did you pick up on that why when you was talking about your cousin how he he did this to you and da, 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 why was he defending him so much why was he doing this why it's like somebody gives you a different perspective maybe that's also why uh this energy is trying to keep you from this person because they they give you eyes and somebody don't want you to see or something you have the justice card. Justice is here. Something is like, um, or someone is, um, everything is riding on you not seeing something. The king of wands. I feel like now that now that the eyes are open, the next time a hit is thrown, this could be someone on your spiritual team. Give me a, a clarifying card for the King of Wands. They're going to see who did it that time. They're just waiting now. Yeah, the Ace of Cups. They got you. So somebody put in a booby trap. Yeah, because it's like, which one? It's one of y'all motherfuckers. Like, which one? Which one? Somebody fell for the booby trap. It's hard. Sometimes when you are heat, baby, you the heat. You are the heat. You got a lot of spirit. You don't have to be a fire sign, but you got a lot of spirit. You're a fire and not only that, you can, um, even if you're not that sign or that element, you can tap into that element when you need to, to become fire. You can uh, ignite yourself like that. So sometimes it's hard when people are like throwing magic at you because magic is like the wand energy. It's like fire. It's hard to notice when somebody's throwing fire at you when you can take the heat. It don't really, you don't feel like somebody just threw fire at you. You don't really feel it too much. But your team's getting tired of it. So, yeah, I feel like, yeah, something's going to get, like, rained on. It's going to happen quickly. And it's going to go to the source, too. It's going to, um, not only is, gonna, is it going to put out the fire that they threw at you, it's going to put out their own, their flame. Yeah, the Nine of Wands. Because clearly they can't be trusted with their flame or clearly they cannot be trusted with their spirit. And honestly, spirit is life. So I hope this don't mean somebody's going to lose their life. Like that. No, for real. I ain't going to lie. This could be a court system for somebody. This could be somebody like, um, I ain't, okay, I got to be honest. This could be like either on the street, on the street way or in the court system. This could be somebody being like sentenced to like the death penalty because it's it's like this agreement that yeah you i mean the two that's where the death penalty came from like but like everything came from from spirit everything came from that's some deep stuff like when the sumerians and every when they came down to teach us how to even build a a civilization because we didn't know how to why well, i ain't gonna say we i ain't gonna say we but they know how to build a civilization. So Babylonian, things like that, they taught us. 
even how to bank, how to um, metrics, things like that. Whatever you want to call it, they came down from their alien spaceships, hot us set, and left. First of all, too, I feel like it's something else they need to teach us. So, yeah, it's always a coming back. The second coming. But anyways, um, like, they taught us, too. That's why my aunt, they taught us about, like, the justice system and the... I'm getting to, like, come back for that because they taught us how to do it. And we're, like, taking advantage of it or doing it wrong. I'll have to, like, I want to re revisit that so I can do another video where it's a little more detailed. But, yeah, they they came to teach us that how to organize, like, like a civilization. But, yeah, even in spiritual light, it's like, yeah, if you keep doing stuff or throwing flames at people or hurting people or if you cannot be even trusted, when you wake up every morning, we don't know what you own. You don't live by no code. You will just do whatever. It don't matter. Kids, women, family, it don't it don't matter. Yeah, you can't be trusted with spirit. You can't be trusted with your own life. So give me that. Something's just kind of like that. Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah, somebody's like, you You can't even walk the streets. They're like, yeah. We don't even want you walking the streets because, yeah, yeah, ten of wands, too much. We don't know what you want. We don't know really. Maybe someone's like, well, I haven't done anything that bad yet. But it's like you're about to or something. This is, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so <laughs> You're the empress. Look, I'm so sorry. No disrespect. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll keep one clarifying card. No, <laughs> no disrespect, but this is like, th this is what I heard. Don't put it on me, okay? M my spirit team, they're just a little like vile and I don't know, disturbing like me, but they're like, um, this is how... The Last Supper should have went. Because, yeah, Jesus knew that that was going to happen. He knew already. So why you want to get rid of him? <laughs> why you would just do it there? Then it's like, I'm not doing anything yet. I'm not, yeah, but you're about to. So I'm going to take care of it. So, but this, the other side of Pisces, the, um, the fisherman. Jesus was a fisherman. He was a Pisces. The other side is, is the hermit. So maybe this hermit of Virgo. Or maybe you're very old school. Or you're not very um, traditional. Or this could be a friend or somebody. Or your girl, boyfriend. Maybe someone else is like, um, I'm saying this could be your girlfriend. They're like, oh, you could be like, oh, no, just don't worry about it. It's, it's fine. They're like, no, we finna address this. No, or whatever. Um, I'm, not about, I'm not about to sit around and wait. Virgo or sixth house, that's how you became a Virgo. Because why am I like keep burping? Because um, Virgo is supposed to be a sign of patience. He's just sitting here hunched up and waiting. It's supposed to be patience. And, um, you know, Virgos and Aquarius, sometimes it takes so long to text you back. And that's just their nature. You can't even like trip off of that. If a Sagittarius is taking long to text you back, then trip off of that. Because it's not in their nature to act like that. Um. They got multiple apps open, texting back a thousand other women. Like, so if they're not texting you back, you should be. I'm sorry, Sagittarius. I know I'd be making it out to just be the most. <laughs> like, yeah, like I just be messing around so much. I'm sorry. Only the low vibing ones. But, um. But yeah, Virgo, you, you were so patient and stuff like that. And. Your earth sign, you're supposed to be slow moving, but you're mutable. You're a mutable sign. You're not fixed. You're not carnal. You're mutable. You are the movable sign. So why is it that you have this reputation for uh, being like um, slow moving or patient and patient? What made you mutable? The fact that people kept playing with your patience. They know that you're patient and this and that. They know that you're, yeah. Then one day, 
we just start doing a bunch of stuff and they're like whoa what happened same thing with uh, us pisces people think we're lazy but for us it start everything starts mental and spiritual we'll sit down and meditate um we'll first have to sit down and meditate for like six months not do much nothing and then the seventh month we like create a whole business and it, it does like it makes a profit for like the last six months that you sat around just kind of daydreaming about it but for you that's a crucial process or something or for somebody waiting it's a crucial process something's like a stakeout or you gotta like wait or analyze and see other people's actions you gotta really maybe your spirit team has been doing this the ghost the hermit is the ghost trying to figure out like where exactly is this energy coming from exactly not you're like no 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 not the little people not the the pawns not the little people that someone's appointing yeah these other people they're throwing fire at you but it's because somebody else told them to do that who's that person who's the who's the boss who's really doing it to you i gotta wait and see if I attack the little people that's coming at you, then the boss gonna see me do that, and they gonna keep tap taking a step back. I can't. I gotta. Um. I gotta be patient. Yeah, seven of cups. I want. You're like. I don't want these these other cups. I want. Who is this person trying to hide themselves? Who is that? Yeah. So you wait. So I feel like clarity is about to come. You you soon will have all the information that you need to make the final move that you need to and that will result result in the ace of pentacles you got a lot of aces i'm getting first comes the magic first comes the ace of wands the magic then comes the ace of cups the water then comes clarity and then comes the pentacles so first so it's like this is how you'll know first yeah so first comes the magic the wand that's going to let you know who your opponent is. Your opponent, whoever's doing this to you, that clarity. I'm getting, which each, which each ace, clarity comes out of each ace. The ace of wands, you're going to find out who's been doing some type of magic to you or trying to block you or whatever. Again, on earthly level, magic is lying. Maybe someone's not going to a graveyard and doing some weird shit. They could just be lying to you. Who knows? Or lying to other people about you to keep them away from you. Who knows? The Ace of Wands, you're going to find out who's doing this to you. The Ace of Cups is going to come when somebody pours the water on the fire being thrown at you. That's when you find out who really got your back, who loves you, or who your soul family is. So out of out of the action, you're going to find out who hates you and who was against you, and you're going to find out who loves you and who was trying to protect you. Then you're going to get clarity about those two things happening. So I guess technically, I guess the Ace of Swords came first. Then the pinnacle comes, the reward for waiting. Waiting is protection. This also reminds me on a higher level, and I can't get too deep into this. This reminds me of, um, I had a, a comment on my TikTok like two years ago. Um... In so many words, it was like somebody kind of asking, well, if you're connected or if you can speak to and have connections to the Galactic High Council, if if the High Council is real, if this, if that, then why, um, why don't they just get rid of the, the bad people? And I think this person was saying even like, if there's a certain race that is terrorizing the rest of us or making it bad, why don't they just get rid of that entire race or whatever? Why don't they just end it? But even with them, there's a level of like having to wait and play the field because say you, say you right now, you are nine times out of 10, a lot of y'all are black sheep in your family. Say your whole bloodline and family should have been wiped out. Y'all were, say y'all were not good people. And it's not even like you, it's like, say you purposely was like, I'm going to be born into that family because it's not a good family. It's not a good blood bloodline. And I'm here to purify it. Right. Say if the council was like, okay, well, we're going to get rid of all the bad bloodlines. They're going to get rid of a lot of chosen people. 
Because a lot of chosen people were meant to be born into these terrible bloodlines, even when it comes to different races. I know certain people that their whole family's racist, but they're the one person that's not. And they have to cut off their whole family and not, not fuck with nobody. But say we just, we got all, got rid of white people or whatever, um, uh, mulattoes, whoever. Say we got rid of all of them. It's like, what about the people that were meant, that had a soul contract to be placing that energy to do something? There's still a few more steps. Like, I can't even lie. That's the truth. Because it's about the soul contracts that can't get rid of it's going to throw it off. It's like going back in the past and trying to fix something or trying to tell somebody that like 9-11 is going to happen or trying to tell somebody that, uh, what's another terrible thing to happen? Um, yeah, but it's like trying to go back and tell, but it's like, it's, it's messed up. Oh, I hate when I think about that. That's a really messed up one. Freaking, um, that's too deep. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> I'm a, hopefully, Hopefully summer Patreon will be back. I ain't gonna get into that. Never mind. Let's go ahead and roll the dice. What planetary bodies are helping to push this energy forward? You have Uranus and Neptune. Hmm. These big outer energies. Very big, very far, but so so much energy. I like you the same way. Like um in a way yeah i'm so sorry if this video has to go up wednesday i'm so sorry it's gonna be early but i just don't know if i'm gonna be able to get it up tonight the other clip was like 20 minutes and this one's 40 so that's an hour and then oh i was gonna say that too why it was something wrong with at&t their system went down and then my internet was messing up and i don't have at&t then i look and then there's something wrong with another network while all the networks are like having a power outage like huge power outages all right anyways um <laughs> but um I feel like people feel like you're far out or you keep your distance but sometimes you have to because your energy is so big those those planets that are farther out they need to be because if they were any closer to earth like it would be too much maybe that's why too you keep your distance from certain people because like you already know like it just it throws them off like it's just it's not something that can be helped it's just it's what it is but I'm going to leave it here, y'all. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Happy Mars Day again. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.